You're listening to the Joint Sermons on the Push Media Podcast Network. So you mean to tell me that you were trying to impress a girl that already married you and you broke your foot? <laughs> Actually, I was trying to impress my mother-in-law and broke my foot. Actually, I broke my Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's kinky. Explain. Go ahead. Yeah. Details. Details. <laughs> so I was taking out the garbage and recycling for my mother-in-law. And I was like, yeah, I got it. No problem. So whatever, I go down, take out the recycling, throw it in I the bet recycling you did. bin. And I did. Hey, 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 bang, bang, bang. Um, so, and then I go to get the garbage and I open up the dumpster area and it didn't have like a slide on the front of it. So I'm like, all right, it must be an open top dumpster because, you know, I'm used to work. So I toss it up on top. And then I Is that slang me. for a Southern girl, open top dumpster? <laughs> no. So I throw well, it up I'm on top. I'm just asking. Well, okay. Fair enough. Um, so I throw up on top this, this, you know, one of the guys that works like custodial was like, Hey, you got to get that down. Da, 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 da. And I didn't want to have my mother-in-law up. I didn't want to get in any trouble with her, you know, apartment complex. So, you know, me being me, I'm like, Oh, this is not too high. It's like 12 feet. So I jump up on top of the dumpster. I get it. I throw it in the side, shoot where it goes. And I don't know what I was just like, yeah, I can, I can take this drop. <laughs> and, uh, apparently I could not. And I jumped off the top and when I landed, I landed on my left foot and I was fine. And then when my right foot came down, you know how you just get that feeling when you're like, Ooh, this yep. is all, this is all bad. Like my foot just kind of went numb and then I wanted to stand up and, uh, yeah, but uh, broke, broke my heel. So that's where we're so, at. So I'm, I'm hopping along on crutches for Murphy wins again. Future. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I couldn't let you be the only cripple on the show, dude. Come on. dude. I got my, I got my own referrals. I am not a crippled anymore. <laughs> anymore. Congratulations. In fact, I have closed all my rings for, 79 straight days as of yesterday, and today will be day 80. Well, you are, you are a paradigm of health, and we'd love to see it. I'm telling you, because I hit that streak. I was going for 100 last time, and then the heart attack. Yeah. So yeah. Now, and, and, now, now it's just a purpose, but I'm still going to do a – as soon as I'm going to hit 100, and then I'm going to chill. I'm going to make sure I take two rest days a week or something just because, yeah. or at least one. Uh, but, I'm you know, I'm being smart, but still. Yeah. It's well, just a and, point, to, point to prove, like uh, – well, Grim Reaper's a bitch. Yeah. Well, and it turns out he's a punk. Yeah. Well, and ironically, you know, I, whenever I, I was out east, uh, my iPhone and stuff was getting delivered. So when I got home, I was like, sweet, I'm going to set that up. I'm going to get my watch. I'm going to start closing rings. And, and now I get home with this broken foot and I'm just like on the couch. I'm, I'm so miserable because I don't and sit the, still regardless. You know what's and funny it's is me nuts. the watch, I would suggest turning this notification off for the time being it'll drive you nuts. When I got back from the hospital, I turned all those off. You know, the like, hey, come on, keep moving. I no, yeah. but um, it'll keep you. It'll keep you honest with yourself. It'll be like, hey, Lord, get off the sofa, go move around <laughs> for a minute or two. Like well, you never realize how much we sit. Even if you say, yeah, I sit at a desk, we don't realize how much we sit until you have something going. Hey, sitting too much. Get up. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, crazy. that's the thing. I don't have a desk job and I, you know, you know what I do and I cover a lot of ground. So for me to no, be I just do. like, stay, <laughs> for me to be like sedimentary, uh, it's, it's driving me nuts. I think it's driving my wife nuts even more because she's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? What are you doing? And I'm just like, I can't, I can't sit well, yeah, still. You know? you know what's happening? She works from home, correct? So you're, yeah. she's, you're messing up her, ho- her whole chi. <laughs> she's used to you being there on specific two days a week. And then gone the rest of the time and she gets in her vibe and her mood and that's how she yeah. works. That's completely normal. Well, she just knows I'm stubborn. Like, yeah, I think but that's, that's the good. thing that annoys her. But it's normal. And whether she admits it or not, it's, it's her vibe. Where, why is he here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite think so. Like I said, it's just she knows uh, I'm stubborn. Hey, listen, we, we, were, is, we were texting and then I, so I, it is the vibe. Okay. Well, you know how so, stubborn I am, just like you. I went digging my first day, and I walked there. See, this is where, okay, look at So my neighbor had to have foot surgery, four surgeries like in a week, and Oof. he had pieces of bones removed from his foot. He had a bone infection Oof, that was so hardcore, they were terrified that, hey, we're taking your legs. Oh, God. And they, they didn't do that, thankfully. Or you're going to get an infection and die in a couple weeks. And that didn't happen, thankfully. Yeah. Thankfully, but what's he do? He gets home, starts walking around. He's walking around with an IV bag. He's got to change like three times a a day, every day for six weeks. But the both of you are so stubborn. 
Like you walking to the record shop. Well, like what I, are you I mean, doing? I, it was on crutches. Yeah, that was, I don't care. But hey, but but as as much as that is, I totally understand that. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to see like what I could possibly do because my my record store is only like you know less I than a half it. a mile away. But yeah, no, I learned my lesson and I called my wife and I was like, nope, you were right. <laughs> Come pick me up when I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so I, I won't get be it. doing that again. When I was updating my iPhone from the five s to the six and the six was the first one with the the i don't think they called them pro maxes then but the max the big one yeah because i wanted that big phone i woke up that morning you know i'm gonna drive over there i'm gonna get my phone and move on and that was the time when you didn't stand in line anymore but you still had to go there and you ended up in a line for all the people showing up and you would sit there for 20 minutes whatever i was so sick to my stomach that on my way out I threw up in the trash can a little bit. Then got in my car. I was like, I got to go get my phone because that's how much I loved gadgets. I'm like, I don't care. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Good luck to the Apple employees. Luckily, <laughs> nothing happened. But because oh, I remember I, I remember sitting there and the guy's like, and do you need help, you know, setting it up? And I'm like, no. You're like, just put it in the bag. I got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. yeah I, I'll 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 never clock, forget buddy. that. But then yeah. I came home, got sick a little bit. And I was like, ah, all right, let's wipe that off. Let's go. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And I'm sitting there setting up a phone. And then I set my phone up. And then I laid in bed like a little kid with a doll with my phone next to me and fell asleep. <laughs> so I well, understand. I mean, mission accomplished. Dude, I was yeah. not leaving that phone there. No, no, no. But I understand that. I I, I think yeah. that's just, I think that's like a, a male trait, to be I, quite I, honest. I'm just kind of dumb when it comes down to it. Do you yeah, mean, mean Southern? No, no. Hey, like, speaking of which, uh, open face dumpsters or whatever you called it, tell me about open top, open top dumpsters. <laughs> I'm just saying they're just, come on, put them two and two together. I, I, ironically, uh, I had some of the best Indian food I've ever had when I was uh, out East. So take that for what it's worth. I think they're called native Americans. <laughs> uh, you know what adorable. bothers me about that? That whole, I, I know the whole native American and Indian thing. They're, the Native Americans, were, well, their nations were called Cherokee and, you know, that kind of thing. They were not called Indians or Native Americans. But they're only called Indians because Christopher Columbus thought he was in India. But yet we know that and we still say he discovered this place. It bothers yeah. me. Well, I mean. It bothers me because that's, that's, that's not true, though. But that's not true. Well, and also you can't discover a place when people are already there. You can like, discover it for yourself and say, whoa, right, we didn't, but, we can, he can just, no, he can discover it. You can say, whoa, Europe didn't know about this place. Look what I discovered. Whoa, that's fine. But yeah, what I'm saying we, is we, we acknowledge he wasn't here because the name of Indians, right? And yeah. then it, where he landed, not on this continent in Discovery Bay in the Bahamas is where he was, but they act like he discovered quote America. Yeah. It's so, not to mention there was Vikings here. Right. Year, hundreds I mean, of years before it. And we, that's the, we, we, we know that when we know the person's name who was here and we know and, about them and there's, 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 there's artifacts and there's written stuff in Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I only say that because, you know, indigenous people's day, that's also very pandering. As a DNA approved and DNA tested indigenous person, and I do expect a gift and a cake this year. That is pandering. Just if you find Columbus Day is like, hey, you know, that's offensive now, then stop calling it that. Move the holiday to something else if there's something appropriate and move on. But calling it Indigenous People Day is like, he, remember we gave you guys smallpox? Like, it's weird to me. Yeah. It's, well, I mean, it's, mm, now it's weird. No, I've been no, no, no judgment here about the situation. It's just that's one of those lies that you know your teachers told you in school, and you were just like, "Oh yeah." But it's and dumb. Then it's like no, we're not I, teaching a fact. Dumb. It's just not a fact. And I'm I not mean, talking about any political ideology whatsoever. No, not at all. It's just like he didn't land here. No. Well, I mean, there's that Fine. book lies my teachers told me, which yeah. is you know not political at all. It just lays out all the there's lies a that they podcast teach about that too. And you should oh, definitely it? not listen to that podcast because it takes away from this podcast. Well, sure. But, but yeah, no, it, it's great, and it's small little bites. But it's it's yeah, it's great. But it's dumb. You know what other yeah. they teach now? They teach more lies called Common Core. 
Oh, is that the one with the math? It's, I it's can't stupid. Do, I, I can't it's do stupid. math in general. So like, no, no, new- no. But I'm going to ask you something. Your wife has five cookies and she gave me two cookies. About how many does she have left? I mean, numbers have limits. Like that's not, that, that's not like but subjective. How, but like, about how many does she have left? I mean, what about, how, how do you have about anything in math? That's what I'm saying. If it's, she had five and gave me two, she has three left. Yeah. But no, the answer is she has about four or about two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't do it. Oh, I can't well, do math regardless. So any and they, kind of like, and they only teach that through elementary school, and then they make you forget and relearn it through real math through junior high and middle school and yeah, high school. I, I work with a couple of people that have kids, and they showed me like Common Core math, and it's just like I said, I don't do math to begin with. But I looked at it, I was like, how does any? It, it's like math, but with extra stupid steps. I'm just like, just five minus three. What are you? What are you doing? All this extra but, like. It's rooted. Well, it. It's rooted in racism. I mean, is that it, factual? It, is that what we're it, like? So, like I said, I, I know nothing the, about the, it. The, people will say, "Oh, no, 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 that's no, 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 no." Then there's like, well, the lady who started, kind of like the the Planned Parenthood lady, was like, "Let's have abortions and try to get blacks to have them." That was written down fact, but they wanted to do it to help quote help minorities, specifically blacks get better math scores. Well, first of all, they're not stupid. Just teach them the math. That's right. that's on you failing them by not funding their schools equally or teaching them equally that part, or the or give or giving them dude books. Yeah. That are, you know, I don't think a book has to be updated every year. You know, it's not like there's a, you get the all new d- division colorway, right. you know. No. But I mean, <laughs> but if but if a math book Got is enough. If math book is, and can we get away from saying colorway and just say color? I mean, I don't know. But I don't like, see I, color because I'm part of the solution. I'm not part yeah. of the problem. <laughs> That's what everyone says. That is part of the problem, but go on. You know what? Well, the problem is if you say you don't see color, you're a liar. It's okay to recognize that guy's black or yellow or brown or white. Who cares? No, I mean, that's that's the thing. When people discredit that, they're only outing themselves. As what's wrong? Like, but what's wrong with saying... That's a black person, or that's a brown person. Nothing, nothing. That's what I'm and saying. That's, that's, that's the part. When people say, I don't see color, I'm just like, ooh. You're racist. Yeah. yeah you're 100%. racist. 100%. I say the N word in private, you know, that <laughs> kind of thing. But but this whole common core, it's like, fund the schools. Yeah. Teach them. They're not stupid. Are you kidding me? And, and, and by underfunding schools in, you know, minority neighborhoods or poor neighborhoods, even in the Umphies neighborhoods, and I'm dead serious. No, I'm dead serious. Please go to Appalachia. But what I'm saying is, by under by not funding those kids and teaching them, what are we missing? Yeah, I, oh, I'm God. always I'm always fond of the argument of all these abortions that I've had, and I'm like, wow. I sh-, and this, I'm serious. Mathematically, there's a possibility that we aborted somebody who was going to do some really kick-ass good things for humanity. Mathematically, same thing by not funding these schools, teaching these kids, and giving them a, a weaker chance. Dude, how do we know that kid that you didn't fund over here in some poor school wasn't the cancer kid who cures it all, but you didn't yeah. fund him, so he never... I what, what are we dumb? I'll tell you what. Speaking of Indians, my a friend who's from India, and he's an engineer, he can't stand... He took his daughter out of the school here and put her in a private school because he goes, you guys don't teach math. He goes, don't you guys want engineers? The entire future of humanity is going to be based on engineering. You don't teach math. And he was dead serious. His kid was in our schools a year and was like, he's like, I'm out. And now he pays a boatload of money that he can't afford, but now has no extra money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just to, so his kid can count. Yeah. And that and that's a shame. You know, I mean, we could do a deep dive into like how school funding goes and vouchers and all that other. I think you've done nonsense. enough diving. <laughs> you know what? I'll let you have that one because everybody's had jokes for me. They're like, hey, heal up. I'm like, all right, you know what? Stop. That one's that one's okay, but no, I I, like, I I do like the idea of you trying to impress a woman that already married you. <laughs> She's not oh. going to be crazy twice. Oh well, that's uh, I mean, her mother in law is pretty dope. So you know, I was just so, I was just trying to be. The you good got lucky there. You got lucky there. No, no, hundred percent. Like my mother in law is super chill. I I love her. She's she's great. I got lucky with both of my in laws, and uh, yeah. God, I wish I could say that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but fortunately, my, my mother-in-law is no longer with us. So I, I never met her. And then uh, the father-in-law, uh, apparently no one knew he was racist until I showed up. Yeah, well. And I mean, he took two weeks to get it out where I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, yeah. Un- unfortunately, so, you can't pick that, but. You nah, know. but you know what sucks is at one point he lived a mile away and never seen his grandkids. Yeah, I'm like, well, you I are... mean, that, that, that racism and hatred will make people do really stupid things. It's and, so you know, retarded. It's so yeah. dumb. Well, and then to, to do that to your kids is just like, you get over it. You know what I mean? Like, if, if that's if that's your red line, I'm sorry that you're that dumb of a person. First of all, you know what I never understood is, well, if you're truly racist, right? If you're truly, I don't like other races. My race is the best. Every other race is awful, and I don't want nothing to do with them. Cut out their food. Just that. Just yeah. cut out their food. Yeah. No. No more burritos. How, no, how boring no, suddenly no, is. No more dinner. Chinese food. Yep. Absolutely. Or and then if you want to go further, cut out their music. Yeah. Like that's yeah. just like you know you know like 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 if you see uh, blacks are starting to lean more into country music recently, and. Uh, Whatever, right? But people are like, oh, like they're all like shocked by it. I'm like, who cares? Yeah, Just if, I, do you like the song? If you like it, play the yeah, song. Listen to if it. You, exactly. If you don't, I don't like every rap song out there. No. And that's my, that's my favorite genre. Most of it's trash. Yeah. But okay. I, yeah. I don't, it's, it's like this, like just totally unintelligent way of looking at the world and it's like well if you if you really believe that like you said then just cut it out just everything white enjoy your mayo sandwiches and you know whatever, whatever baroque music you're gonna listen to and and go away like yeah and i just, enjoy i enjoy a good mayonnaise pause I guess. but i don't want a mayo sandwich <laughs> yeah that's what's uh, so funny i don't know just mayo is just this what about to, miracle whip no i can't do it it's just gross to me what about Miracle Whip all over an open top dumpster? <laughs> That's probably what made me slip. Shut up. You shut oh. up. Hey. So when you fell, let me have a little bit of this. Were you like, call my mom, help, call my mom? Or did you cry? Did you scream? Uh, no, uh, I decided I was going to try to walk on it because uh, I, of was, course. I, I was, well, listen, here's the deal. I was only going to the dumpster. Why would I have my phone with me? I didn't have my phone. Wait a second. So. Hold on. Well, yeah, at that time it was an Android. So yeah, why would you? But I'm saying, <laughs> otherwise you don't leave your phone. What are you talking about? Like these well, are, I, pr- I, these are, well, hold on. These are precious, <laughs> precious iPhones. It is well, like I, a, you, hey, they are like children. You must nurture them, <laughs> caress them and hold them. D- don't laugh while you're t- texting me in the middle of the night going, oh my God, this phone's like witchcraft. It is witchcraft. Right? And you it, actually it, said witchcraft about the AirPods. Yes. I, but look, I think I'm, I've said that to you before. We're like, these phones or this, whatever they put in their batteries are witchcraft. Yeah. Like, well, I'm, and I'm stubborn enough to see for myself. Yeah. Well, the MacBook batteries, I always thought was witchcraft. I'm like, why doesn't this thing die? Clearly the battery goes down, but why doesn't it die? I use it all day, however well I want. Then at night, I'll plug it in. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get it. All of them do. I, I, they, yeah, they... they Again, when you're throwing money at to get something you want out of it. Speaking of that, I wanted to address this because I would like to flick this dude in the nuts. That yeah. former CEO of Massimo, that company that was suing Apple for oh, the, uh, for oxy- the uh, yeah, oxygen yeah. sensor. So, okay, I am not a legal expert in patents or anything else. Whatever. They claim they're the ones who invented the oxygen sensor. Right. I don't know. Okay, seems kind of weird to claim that and only want to sue Apple, the big bad boy on the block, versus every single buddy else that uses an oxygen sensor. But okay, go on. But anyway, the CEO who founded the company was fired by his board two weeks ago. Didn't they offer him like a billion dollars to to just sell the company so, to Apple? I think it was more than that, but it was like a it was like a it was a supposedly a gross number, but he wanted. From what I read, one hundred dollars per Apple Watch sold. That's not. That is. Yeah, that's you're never not, gonna get that, dude. That's a three sixty deal. Stop it. 
That's, that's worse than a 360. You're, that, that, be, in, be, be rational in business. I mean, that, that, that's like, a, like a th- almost a third of the price of an Apple Watch. Well, yes. Well, they're a publicly traded company, and the shareholders had a vote and said, he's gone. And then the board backed him up and said, he's gone. So then he quit real quick so he wouldn't be fired. You can't fire me. I quit. But yeah, but first of all, grow up. Now, here's the beautiful part. I'm sure he still has some stock that he legally owns. You know darn well the board's like, are you kidding? We're going to fight this $3 trillion company? Because yeah. Apple's not going to give up on it. No. Nah. No. Nah, they can, they not. Can bog, they can bog them down in motions for years well, and, until and the they, patent's well, up. Well, the thing is Apple Watch doesn't have the new ones, the 10s, and some of the 9s right. after a certain date don't have the oxygen sensor. So they need that. That has to come back. They physically have this. They physically have the sensor. It just needs to be enabled. But so clearly they're planning on doing that. And they supposedly have a trial date in November. Oh. So all I could think is, and then now recently, I guess afterwards, they tried to reach out and Apple's like, no, nah, we're, we're going to court. Yeah. Wow. I mean, uh, imagine I, if, I, if I made something and Apple decided to use it and I was like, hey, I own the patent on that. And they're like, uh, we'll give you a billion dollars. I would be on a beach somewhere with a billion dollars and you would never hear from me again. Like that would be the easiest decision of my life. Like how, how do you do that? Like, I don't know, but you know what bothers me? If you get on their website, Massimo's, they have a, a wearable, they call it, um, that looks just like an Apple watch. (laughs) What are you doing? But they're claiming that Apple reached out to them in 2013 and said, we'd like to collaborate on your oxygen sensors to go into these watches we're making, blah, 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 which was before the first watch came out, I think. Yeah. And because um, it's only 10 years old. And they were like, no. So Apple's what? like, so Apple's like, yeah, I know at the time, even doing that, but Apple's like, eh, well, crap. Okay. So they went into their own research and that's why it didn't come out so soon. It only came out, I think, three or four years ago uh, for the oxygen sensor. And so they had to research it and find it. But in that meantime, when Apple's posting uh, on job boards, hey, we're looking to hire people that can develop oxygen sensors and scientists and that and medical advisors and that, and yes and that, which is what you do, right? You got to hire the people that yeah. do it. A lot of massive people are like, yo, I'm out. I'm over at yeah. Apple now because they're now an Apple, bigger company, blah, blah, blah. And so Massimo's like, oh, you stole all our employees. That's not how that works. Because what's funny is apparently none of them had non-competes, which is really... Stupid for a tech company. You don't have non competes. They're working on products. Yeah, you you would think that their lawyer would have tra- tra- trapped it something up. But I, I mean, can you even do non competes anymore? I thought they. I not and, anymore now. Not now, but back I was then they say, could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's super now, weird. I mean, especially when uh, you have a company that big that can just put your so, best people. Like, why wouldn't you? You can have a non compete and still not be allowed. I mean, not have non competes and still be not allowed to. Hey, I came from company A. I can't give you all their secrets. That's illegal. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously you can't, you know, give them my like intellectual property, but for sure. But still, I don't yeah. know. I just kind of got a little bit of, I don't even have no side in this other than I think it's dumb. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it know, was, so how, how do you turn down Apple money? You know what I mean? But, uh, but no, how do you get so sense. stubborn to prove a point? So this article I was listening to on Apple News that, by the way, if you didn't know, Apple News can narrate audio like a podcast stories and read them to you with professional narrators dude that is so nice anyway uh but i'm listening to this thing and I'm, I'm on my walks and it sounded to me like this guy was just had a personal vendetta like he's like i'm gonna show you and that's just the end of it and i couldn't understand i i, I just couldn't understand like why take yeah. that money take the money yeah. Take the money. That's a, I mean, that's that's just a, such a no-brainer. Like, that, yeah, that had to be some just like, yeah, I'm going to stand up to Apple. No, you're not. You're not. You don't have a well, trillion yeah. dollars. Like, well, you, you, don't, a, you don't have the lawyers. Like, you don't have the time. Like, they will bury you. Well, it's like Epic Games. They sued Apple because uh, they wanted to have a third-party app yeah. store. Well, go ahead. Have an app store. But what they're complaining about is they want they don't like paying the 30% commission you do get stuff in exchange for that. Whether you think the price is fair or not is up to everyone. But you get Apple is distributing it. It takes care of the bandwidth. They double check your work, which to me, I think that's priceless. They handle everything. You just get deposits every month. They handle yeah. everything. Taxes, fees, legalities, everything. Not to mention people on iPhones tend to pay for apps more than Android. So shut up. 
But, you know, it's, they forced it in the EU. Now they have these open third-party app stores. And apparently they did a, a study, and a lot of them, if not most, are Russian bot farms and spyware. Yeah, gross. So people are saying, oh, I got, you know, virus on my iPhone in the, in the EU. Now you have to enable it in the EU. You go into settings and just yeah. turn on the setting. But and, and another thing is they said a lot of people, like most, haven't even enabled it. They don't want it. They don't, now I'm good. Yeah, I mean, why would you? Well, this one guy said, I, I got duped in. Uh, he wrote a post to this podcast listening. I got duped into it because the app I wanted was forty nine ninety nine on the app store, but it was 99 cents on the third part. I'm like, what, what do you think the difference is there? Yeah. I'm like, you, you think that you're going to get that much of a break on it? Come on. Well, I'm sh- I'm selling these Jordans at my store over here for two fifty, yeah, but at this other store they're thirty one dollars. Yeah, Fugazi all day. Like exactly. Here. Like you're not you 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 are the product dummy. But also, on a tangent, that's just the EU wants a back door. Yeah, absolutely. And, and pro Apple, tip. Apple is not is not going to let that happen. Little pro tip for everyone using iPhones: iMessage is end to end encrypted, and FaceTime calls on video or audio are end-to-end encrypted as well. So if you're making a FaceTime audio call to each other, it's the same as being on signal, if not stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, since I switched over, I just, I'm not even on signal anymore. I just use iMessage, which is also dope because I could be sitting at my computer doing something and it's like, Oh, a text message just came through. (laughs) You'll see the more you get in how everything just works cohesively together. Yeah. To me, that's, like I really like that new Pixel phone. Like that's a cool phone, of what it does as a productivity type tool. That phone is cool. But then I'm like, yeah, but there's not a equivalent Pixel computer. Like there's a MacBook. I can't get on it. And but they're right. like, well, you can get you can get on messages.android.com. I'm like, stop. Well, and and they've migrated all their messages over to Google now too. So it's yeah, I'm not trusting that. Yeah, but everybody, well, everybody Google. How many messaging apps have they had officially? Dozens. Like, it's stupid. Yeah. I, I, I can't buy into that. It's like, no, I want you to buy into something and leave it. Yeah. I don't like, I, anyway, I don't like people complaining on <laughs> Android that, that uh, iMessage isn't available for us. Well, yeah, you, you have an Android. That's fine. Right. There, but there's nothing wrong with that. Or they won't enable RCS so that we don't have green bubbles. It's like, first of all, if you care about that, get a hobby, Grow go up. touch grass. Stop well, here's it. the thing. RCS is a function and feature of the carriers. So Apple has enabled RCS as of like, I don't know, a month, two months ago. Yeah. But dependent on carrier supporting it. Right. They have to enable it. Yeah. It's super weird. I don't know. So why, why is that Apple's fault then? Because in the United States, we don't use that. You know what I mean? The only reason these chat apps are famous in Europe is because back over there, when texting got uh, popular, it was expensive. You paid per text. Over here, we yeah. didn't. We, you know, you could get a thousand texts or five thousand texts, unlimited text. It was bundled, so we didn't have that issue. So we didn't have to get like a WhatsApp or anything like that. Over there, they did, and that's now where they're stuck in. But I wish they would get out of that crap because you got the whole entirety of Europe uh, with the prying eyes of the EU and a clearly backdoor from Facebook and WhatsApp. Yeah. And it, they offer end in encryption, but if you go in through and enable it, imagine trying to get all your friends to enable that for you. Yeah, that's not going to happen unless they are actually smart. And if they were actually smart, they wouldn't be using WhatsApp. And I hope Apple tells them the pound sand. Yeah. You know, uh, same thing. Uh, we demand that Apple make the Apple Watch compatible with all phones and that any watch can be compatible on that, on that phone. Well, the Apple Watch isn't compatible on Android. That's a choice. But other Android watches can be compatible, and they are, with iPhone by just simply putting their app in the App Store. There's nothing stopping them. And some, many do. So, I, again, uh, their whole point is flawed, and they just want to steal and do backdoor. It's almost like they want to send a Christopher Columbus over here and pretend they did something. <laughs> nice callback. I like that. Do you like that? I do. Do you it's, like uh, that? It's well I'm, done. Anyway, today's going to be the last episode of the Joint Sermons. And I'm going to start my reality TV show called The Open Face Dumpster. Or what'd you call it? The Open Top Dumpster? <laughs> open Top Dumpster, yes. It's, it's an disgusting. industry term. You're probably uh, not. No. No, no. You mean like uh, cleaners? Yes. Is that, a, is that a Mexican joke? No, I know, but it should have been. Damn. Every week. Man, you, every I, you week, know what? Every I'm week gonna, there's a Mexican we, joke. It's either communism. 
Can Go we ahead. run that back so I can make the Mexican joke? Go ahead. Not we late. just we just did a whole thing about not looking it's at too, people's color. Go ahead. No, Go ahead. no, no. How about first of all, don't talk to me like the Mexican maid from Family Guy. <laughs> hey, I had to no. run it back. I can do something. <laughs> dude, I, dude we, we I love that. Back. I love that character. Oh God. Her I love I love I love when fat, South Park makes fun of Mexicans. Dude, her fat kid's name was Diabito, and that I one know. took me out. I was like, all right, I gotta go. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was so good. It's like, oh well, my god. And the South Park, you know, when uh, no, yes, yeah, senor, like oh. it's so. It's just, I love it. Yeah. Well, I mean, and with South Park, they get everybody. Hey, like it's it's what there, there's th- no well, old bars. Here's the thing: if you're offended by South Park at this point, you need to just stop. Yeah. No, I mean, like literally, that's, that's their whole that's their whole mo is to just like let's see how many people we can make upset and troll, and it's like well, that's it, what that's what I like about them is they're like, oh, you don't want us to do that? Oh, that's the next episode now. Yeah, well, don't I mean, look tell what they, me what to say. Look what they did to Kanye. Like they made the yeah. whole gay fish episode because they were like, who's gonna get mad? And he actually got mad. He got it. mad, like, dude. Then he if, made it a bigger thing. Yeah, and that was the best thing. They were like, yo, we were joking. We didn't actually think he'd respond, but he actually responded and got so upset about mm-hmm. it. It's just, that is that is just but chef's kiss good. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> to this day, I can't be well, anywhere here's the thing. somebody says it and not just start giggling like a five-year-old. I saw an interview before where they said, they never said fish sticks. The entire time, they literally say fish dicks. Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, well, you can't tell the difference. That's the joke. Just like yep. Tom Cruise being gay, come out the closet, or uh, um, that one, <laughs> the, the one where the Oprah Winfrey and all the rich black people moved in. Oh God! Or the Scientology the, one. Or yeah. The Mormon uh, one. Oh. The, 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 first of all, the Mormon one killed me because when they're like, Joseph dum, Smith da, was dum, a Mormon, dum, probably <laughs> dumb, da, dum, 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 and yeah. then they're like. And then he took a he took the two rocks and put them in the hat and looked inside the hat. And then yeah. on the bottom they're like, "This is it, what they actually believe." Well, and that's the same thing that they did with the Scientologists. They, 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 this is the exact thing that they believe. Yeah, it's uh, you know, South Park's one of those shows that it's like, like if you don't see the satire and you get upset, you same are with the Family Guy market. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't I don't think I don't think South Park creators or Family Guy creators or writers have actually any ill will against anybody. I think they're just making jokes. No, yeah, I know, absolutely. No, I, they just I are. No, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, look, I'm Catholic, but one of the best jokes on Family Guy is when Stewie goes back in time or whatever, and Jesus is in his house taking a bath, and he's standing in like this tub, and he's the soap's running down his body, and it gets real quiet, and there's no words spoken. It's it's so freaking awkward. It's hilarious. You know, it's have laugh a little, have fun. Yeah. Well, it's not like you're laughing at little kids with cancer, which can be funny if their hair was falling out. <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. Nothing. I was laughing. It can What's be laughing? Funny. Cancer is funny to you? Sure. It can be. See, I was just trying to entrap you to see if you laughed at that joke. Yeah. I'll laugh at whatever if it's funny. So that, that makes sense now, all those N-word jokes I get... And I message yeah, from you. That's exactly that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm I like, yo, check this out. I am so appalled. Come on, let's be real. It's all Mexican jokes. You know that. <laughs> or Joe Biden jokes. Yeah. You know, Kamala Harris is probably going to be president of the United States. You think so? Here's the thing. Yeah. And so she's vice president because the current Tweedledee said, I'm going to nominate a black woman no matter what. And so they picked her for some reason instead of one that's, you know, capable uh so whatever she never got one delegate vote then she got the nomination without actually getting any delegate votes and then till till they quote voted for her unanimously at the convention huge giant air quotes so she's never been elected she's like gerald ford and now you're gonna you're gonna probably win an election against dumbass yeah well and really really like really you're proud of yourself well, and it cracks me up, too, because they're like, I- I've seen people online be like, how is this race so close? Because once again, you you Hillary Clinton, it. you took like the worst person like you possibly could out of everybody that's a Democrat. And you're like, you think this person can be like, you know, yeah, this guy. And they're like, oh, maybe. And it's like, what? Like she, should, I, yeah, she shouldn't I, be there. She shouldn't no. be there. I mean, not the even Demo- as vice president. The Democrats could have literally picked anybody else and it would have been a much better thing. But if once you, again, check it out though. If you needed to pick 
a black woman like Joe Biden, I must pick a black, which don't do that ever. Just pick whoever's qualified and who help at the time. That's all. But he could have picked Condoleezza Rice. He could have picked Susan Rice. Just off the top of my head, they, whether you agree with their policies or not, they're both capable. They can govern. They don't giggle when they're asked a tough question. They don't avoid quite 60 minutes of all people, all places, were calling Kamala Harris out and holding her feet to the fire, and she was getting frustrated. Because they're like, well, hold on. you No, you didn't do that, and you said this. It's like her ads. Uh, and I, I don't have live TV, but they'll show up on a, on, a, on a YouTube ad once in a while when a YouTube ad sneaks by my ad blocker. And it's like, uh, Kamala Harris is ready. Why do you have to tell me that? Yeah. He, she can do it. No, she can't. If you're no, there's never been a candidate in our lives. We're like, he's ready. He can be president now. What? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, plus she's a cop. So we don't let cops. Right. President. Teddy Roosevelt, we did different breed. And I think hindsight is uh, not 2020 with him. And I think history shows he was effective. You know, it's funny as he was a cop on the beat in New York and he used to go by the meatpacking district and see how disgusting that was and how full of gross maggots and blood and disease it was. And then he came out and says, we're going to start a thing called the FDA and we're going to have food rules. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Well, and now if you, if you, now, now if you said anything about regulations, it's like, hey, you call me back off. And it's like, okay, well, enjoy your power grid that's going to fail every time there's, you know, Speaking 20 degree of weather in Texas. I know, I saw. Yeah, Texas. They, they, they finally, gonna, they finally join the grid. out. Yeah. First of all, kudos to the people there because you're going to have, I mean, nothing's perfect. Power can go right. out, but you're going to have something more reliable than it was. Yeah. I mean, hey, ha- hey, hail, hey, hail should make, yeah. But going out of power, and I was like, it's been three weeks. No. Yeah. And then they were yeah. surge pricing them on that too. Like, you got to love it. Yeah. The airlines are doing that in Tampa Bay. Yeah. They're to gross. get out of this hurricane. That's, that's disgusting. And they're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't surprise me though. I can remember I was in, uh, I was in Alabama for Katrina. And when we were leaving, uh, it was $7 a gallon for gas. In the end, like it was just like, and that was two days before the storm surge even hit because we were like, we were getting out. Like, as soon as they had the evacuation order, we're like, okay, we're out because we were at the beach. And uh, yeah, it's seven bucks. So I'm not surprised that they're doing it, but it is just the most disgusting thing. It's like, hey, you want to live? Pay us money now for a one way ticket. Hates black people. (laughs) 